Grand rising to my king, queen, gods, and goddesses. It's your boy, Terrible One Star. Got to break it down for the Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus. Now, disclaimer, this is a general read and take what resonate. If it resonates for you, please hit that like, comment, subscribe button. If it don't resonate for you, then I may not be the reader for you. There's plenty of readers on YT. You already know how we do. But anyway, let's go ahead and get right into the reading, Virgo, okay? Now, the title of this one is Be Prepared for the Unexpected, okay? So, when I was sitting up there doing meditation, I had a lot, a lot of downloads coming in. So, um... Spirit want me to break it down, so you know I always write after I come out of meditation. So stay inspired to stay on the right track, Virgo. Um, not only that, your walk on your journey may be inspiring others to do better. So maybe the way how you are walking and you walking in positive bliss, or no matter whatever you done overcame, people have seen it and they are being more inspired by you to do better in a positive light. Ashe. Now, Virgo, make sure you work on your emotional stability and balance, okay? It's time for you to release out all unwanted things that may be hindering you. They may be stress, they may be concerns, they may be doubts, they may be friends, they may be family. Anything that's triggering you right now, you might have to go and get a piece of paper and like I call the hypotheses of shadow work. That is basically the who, what, when, where, why, and how the things are triggering you and how can you eliminate the triggers, okay? Take that for you. Now, not only that, um, it's time to remove all emotional baggage. A storm is coming, okay, Virgo? So now, like, you got to think about it. Like, in the spiritual realm, we are more a spiritual uh, meteorologist. This is the best way how to use this analogy. So what I'm basically saying is a storm coming in. There's some chaos about to come in. It's something about to come in to rattle and shake you. Uh, maybe some temptation. It may be uh, addictions. It may be something that's going to come in and spiral. It may be an old reoccurring cycle or somebody from the past. Take it as a word about. Uh, resonate, okay? Uh, something you shouldn't worry about as well. Now, don't worry about being accepted right now. Uh, somebody may be gossiping. Somebody may be slandering your name. Somebody may be doing some ill will behind the scenes with dark magic or words of manipulation or deceitfulness. But don't worry about that right now, Virgo. You got to stay focused on the task at hand because you are being prepared. You're putting on this shield. You're putting on this armor to get yourself together in this walk, in this journey of what you're about to go through. Whatever it is, we'll find out in a minute in a reading, okay? Now, change is truly expected during this transition. Not only that, Virgo, keep working hard on your goals. Keep setting them high standards and keep working because the results are coming in fanatically, okay? So you are doing wonderful. Just stay on the task, okay? It's okay to hit a bump in the road and fall, but make sure you get back up and keep on pushing. Now, some may want to, some of you may want to work different, uh, work on something different, more like a career path or, you know, something towards education or something long-term stability. It may be a relationship for some. You may want to kinder or work on some relationship things. Uh, whatever it is, I don't know your story. Now, uh, you got to take control of your life, though, Virgo. This is time for you to take the wheel. So even though we have manifested things up to the universe, we still got to put action in the play, okay? We can't just pray and think it's going to fall in our lap. No, 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 no. That's not going to happen. You're going to have to turn around, Virgo, get in, but I'm, we're going to go in a little bit further and see what else is going on. I feel like even though, Virgo, you are still walking in your harmonious balance, I still feel like not only that you're starting to look at other people, you're still doing the give and take, but you are looking at things differently. You're looking at life in a whole new aspect, like being a newborn child again. Some of you take it as a resonate. Now, if you're dealing with a love type of situation, I feel like if you are separated, things may come uh, come about. It may come up to surface. If this is somebody around you, spirit want me to say, it's somebody around you being toxic, you got to watch out for them also. It's time to eliminate yourself from all unwanted things and all toxic types, okay? So let's go ahead and get it. Welcome again to all my new watchers, cross watchers, new viewers, new sub, A1, Day 1, G Stars, whatever you are, you know welcome aboard so how we basically do this we're going to do the meditation for 45 seconds just to get our energy clear and i'll be on one accord not only that and then we'll go straight into the reading okay breathe in virgo positive energy positive light full abundance towards your highest good and exhale all the negativity all the stress all the worries all the concern anything negative we letting it go breathe in And exhale, Virgo. Let it all go. Let it go. One more time. 
breathe in towards your highest good. Positive light and abundance. Clear understanding and exhale. All right, Virgo. Spirit guys in the universe, I just want to thank you for everybody who come on the channel right now. This is a timeless reading. Please protect anybody who come in and watch this. Not only that, anything that's served for them for the blueprint towards their highest good, we accept it and receive it towards full gratitude. Anything that's not for Virgo or Cross Watcher, anybody who's watching this and anybody wish any harm towards them, we want to send, return it back to sender. Any negativity, anything in that type of nature that's going back triple fold, whatever fold, we just sending that back to resender and back to the void. Okay, I say, I say, I'm in. All right, let's go. Spirit guys in the universe, what is the current energy for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus. What is the current energy for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus. Stay in there. I say, let's see what we get. All right, Virgo, let's see what the main energy is, okay? The main energy that we got is the Nine Pentacles basically being in reverse. This is our energy, Capricorn, Taurus, uh, Virgo energy. I feel like something may, you may be having a lack of confidence or it may be some type of disputes that may be coming into play very soon, okay? Not only that, I feel like it, uh, emotionally you may be vulnerable or it may be some type of situation where finance losses or you may be being in debt, okay? So you got to watch out for that type of energy. Not only that, you need to understand that... Uh, some of you may be having some temper issues or somebody around you could be having temper issues or you could be very aggressive and dominant at this moment. But the Nine of Pentacles is clarified by the Strength card, the Four of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups basically being in reverse, Virgo. Okay, so that is letting us know you may be feeling a lack of taking a, uh, a leap of faith and jumping over an obstacle because you may be holding on to something being very defensive uh, in that type of manner or dealing with your emotions. It may be some type of stability or a, a cycle that you need to overcome and, and release that fear and go ahead and tackle it and hang on tight to whatever going on in a defensive state, okay? So let's go ahead and break it down. Now, when I see the strength card, the strength always let us know that you uh you may be dealing with a Leo. Take it, uh, take it as it resonates. Not only that, I feel like the actions you are taking is something that you need to overcome, okay, Virgo? It got to be an obstacle, some type of fear, or something that you're about to overcome in your life, okay? Now, even clarify with that with the Four of Pentacles, basically being upright, even though you may have a lack of confidence into something, into taking over this step, it may be something that you may be hanging on to, okay? You may just be comfortable and it's time to set a change, okay, Virgo? Not only that, maybe something else dealing with the lack is dealing for you, uh, even with you hanging on, it may be creating you to be defensive and bitter. It may be some past pain that you may have been going through or something that may be still in your mental mindset that you need to release and let go. We'll figure out more when we clarify. Not only that, Virgo, I also feel like you could be dealing with a, a, a old time, long time ago. It could be a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. Or it can be you uh, not really tapping into your emotions like you once was before, okay? You may be trying to hang on to some old habits, and it's time for you to overcome and overstep over that fear, okay, Virgo? Now, let's keep going. Spirit guys and the universe, what do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North, Node, and Venus? Can I get one more? I say, okay. Now, even though with this strength card, because it's clarified by the temperance basically being, no, judgment basically being in reverse, forgive me. So I feel like even though you having a lack of confidence uh, overcoming over this obstacle or overcoming over this fear, because maybe it was some type of decisions that you made in the past, or maybe somebody had guilt and not having expressed themselves, or it may be some of the delayed decisions that's coming in, okay? If it's dealing with your finances, it may be time for you to hang on your finances, but I feel like in your stability, in your walk or what you're trying to do in your life. It could be education that you are trying to overcome and get more uh, education for uh, a better finance or it can be dealing with a work situation where you just need to step up and take that leap of faith to jump out towards another career, okay? Now, if it's you being in a relationship, this can be this lack of faith of uh, you stepping out and standing on what you need to stand on in order to, ha uh, because of poor decisions in the past, that created you to hang on to old habits, okay? Not only that, we got the judgment basically being in reverse, I believe it's reverse. We're going to take it as reverse. Forgive me because they ain't got me on this one. Now, with it basically being in reverse, you are hanging on something because something has blocked you in your past. It may be some type of blockage of dealing with you mentally, or it may be you in a fantasy land, but you, uh, or maybe 
it's just a blockage because everything just becomes so bitter or you have to be defensive and stand your ground when it comes to building trust in the people, when it comes into building a uh, teamwork with somebody or building uh, some type of partnership. So Virgo, you need to have the confidence that comes into play with this. This can be your current energy, okay? Again, you can be very dominant right now, so watch your emotions because you can be very, very aggressive in what's going on. And not only that, you need to understand, uh, you need to wish away the burdens, okay? I feel like you're not doing that, uh, so this is something that we can help you in this moment even though you feel a lack of confidence it's time to wish away all them burdens and not only that it's time to do some grounding for yourself virgo okay so you may need to go to a park you may need to step into some nature we say that a lot but stepping into nature is our main thing or if you're in the crystals get emerald okay emerald will help you ground tiger's eye will help you ground as well but then again even with this lack of confidence virgo you got to keep that courage okay you got to stand strong and you got to overcome whatever fear that it is even though you made a poor decision in your past spirit is with you and the divine is with you okay again you could be dealing with a pisces take it as it resonates okay not only that let's go ahead and get a little bit more i want to see what are some of the challenges that you may face with this lack of confidence okay virgo spirit guys and the universe what do we have for virgo when it comes to the challenges of this nine of pentacles can I get one more, please? What are the challenges Virgo must face? Sun, Moon, Rising, North, Node, and Venus. What do Virgo need to... Asha. All right, Virgo. So, again, nine is very significant because we started off with the nine of pentacles. Now, for your challenge, we got the nine of swords basically being in reverse. So, it's something that you may need to take clarity of and start seeing the light and start to know that everything may be coming okay for you. Okay, Virgo? Mentally, you need to get out your mind and start doing something to help you recover. Okay? Even though, uh, even with this recovery, right? Because Spirit wanted me to switch it because I had to stop what I was saying. So, even though you may have be under unable to express yourself but th uh, you need to start to understand that everything is okay okay you got to expect it this part of the storm is part of spiritual growth okay not only that it may be some type of discord or some type of distance that's what's going on with the three of cups basically being in reverse or some type of disappointment now some of you uh take it as a resonate maybe have a health problems i don't want to wish that on, on anybody but if you have a health problems you got to get out of your mindset of the dis ease of whatever property what me going what is going on in your life and start going back in ease with it so you can help cure yourself okay i'm telling you something some informational effects it's all in the mind really most of the times when we go to the doctor and go through situations we really pay them but we do it the other way around so if you know what your condition is and you don't feel like it mentally it, you don't have to accept that in the universe because really when we accept disease it's if you break it down it's something that's not easy so uh maybe spiritually um uh, you got to understand mentally even though things may not be easy you got to understand don't make it stressful to be a dis-ease okay now take it as it resonates not only that so I feel like you need to see the light and recovery or whatever uh, distance or whatever disappointment that you may be going through, even though with a lack of balance with a potential lover, okay? It could be uh, you seeing a recovery or you need to recover from whatever hurt you in your past with any uh, past type pain. Not only that, Virgo, you need to understand that it's new opportunities for you. Once you see the light and the recovery and the rose that's coming on with this nine of swords because you exactly where you need to be, you are not at rock bottom anymore, Virgo. You are just going through a transition. You're going through a baby bump, a baby cycle, so you can get to understand it to ascend to the next one, okay? So, not only that, I feel like even though with this discord or some type of disappointment that you may have been going through, Virgo, I feel like right now, with the Seven of Cups basically being in reverse, uh, it may have been someone you put on a pedestal when it came to came to this uh, person you wanted a happy ending it and, and you just need to be cautious because you probably seen things blindfolded right and that's a challenge that you need to see or it may be some type of unbalance with this type of partnership or partner um, not only that you need to understand too with the ace of swords basically being in reverse it's also letting us know that um 
it may you may be frustrated or you may be feeling like you need to hold back for a minute uh but don't lose your willpower because it can affect you with this new uh new resources or this new opportunity that's coming back in for you okay virgo and the reason why i said that uh, about uh the ace of pentacles because it's time for you to do some meditation it's time for you to go talk to the universe when i say meditate go talk to the universe go do something peaceful get a clear set of mind i'm gonna tell you what actually helps too classical music help it may throw you off a little bit but this stuff actually actually help like do something different virgo it's time for you to change your uh aspect so i feel like again even though you may feel like things being aggressive things being very dominant things in the nature right now and uh again some of you may be sexually frustrated uh we got sexuality so again i feel like the stability of what's going on i feel like you're not expressing yourself sexually or you may be having some sexual frustration take it as a res uh, resonate but i feel like you need to be more comfortable with you as an individual in your sexuality okay now you probably need to start seeing the recovery of that. there's nothing wrong with you virgo if they don't like you for who you are they're just not meant for you and then again you got to know that you belong because you do belong that's a challenge you got to understand you you do have a place but again we got it right here you, uh you also need to be calm in the storm okay virgo so you starting to see the lightning recovery but you don't see the storm coming because it was like that but i'm telling you be uh calm in the storm you got to remain humble in whatever's going on in your everyday walk okay virgo all right, let me go ahead and slide these over so we can get a little bit more understanding of what's going on. Uh, hit that like, comment, subscribe button also, okay? Spirit guys and the universe, what else do we have for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, North, Node, and Venus. What other messages do you have for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, North, Node, and Venus. Mm. So it was upright. Okay. So I will fix it. Now, Virgo, we got the Seven of Cups, and it's clarified by the Five of Cups basically being in reverse, the Ace of Wands, and the Hangman upright. So, even though, right, you got to overcome whatever obstacle and make a sacrifice as well. Even though you may hang on tight to something, you got to realize whatever poor decision you made in your past, Virgo, it's turnaround is being okay, okay? Keep on staying defensive and, and start building your trust again. Not only that, you got to keep the courage right even though you see an enlightened recovery and calming the storm knowing that you belong some of you may be sexually frustrated get yourself together it's time for you to meditate isolate don't put nobody on a pedestal even though you may be feeling unbalanced and in some type of discord with the seven of cups basically being in reverse again god spirit want me to tell you that do not put people on a pedestal right now keep being inspired into spirituality and, and, and inspiration right now keep on putting in the hard work okay because you got to start to make Make a valid decision and move on to things that's more positive for you, Virgo. And that's going to help you with this new creative starting point, okay? Not only this new creative spark, this new spark going to come into you and it's going to create your will, your desire to turn around and make that pure sacrifice that what you need because you got the hangman. You're going to start surrendering to yourself and surrendering to spirit because spirit is giving you a test right now, Virgo, okay? And not only that, Virgo, I want to say you got to become more connected with yourself in the universe. Some of you may need to get some more informational grounding uh, about the universe and it's time to nourish your soul Virgo okay and I will show you the cards even a little bit more now the reason why you can't put people on the pedestal and change for the better because right now even though you are going through a tower moment and this cannot be avoided you got to go through this storm but I just want you to understand with this new starting point do not put people on a pedestal do not be blinded by fantasy towards reality okay now it's time for you to get connected Again, we had this in reverse, so you're not connecting with your spirit, guys. You're not connecting with the universe, but it's time for you to nourish your soul, okay? Now, once you start nourishing your soul... With the hangman basically being right here, you start surrendering to the higher cause and start surrendering and make that self-sacrifice. Everything will come out A-OK -okay for you. Now, even with this new starting point, Virgo, we're going to get a clarification. I also feel like with this new starting point coming on, it's your last step towards your victory. Let me say it like this. Okay. It's your last step towards your victory, right, Virgo? Even though it's your last step and you take and you almost over that hurdle, you got to understand, you got to show your best interest and keep expanding out and doing everything you got to do in this life, uh, in this life, okay? In this journey, in this cycle. Take it as it resonates. Not only that, you got to know you, uh, you'll be more comforting and be more nurturing once you start becoming more optimistic 
about what's going on in your life, Virgo. And not only optimistic, you got to keep a raw, sharp mindset and start uh, everything got to be enthused with a sharp mindset to get you to your almost to your fruition where you need to be. And it ends us back to the nine of pentacles basically being in reverse. But at the end, you see the nine of pentacles will be upright once you go through all of this. So I feel like Virgo, not only that, you will reach your fulfillment and you'll reach all your rewards. OK, Virgo. So we're going to go ahead and take it like that. And if it resonates, please like, comment, subscribe, uh, subscribe, and share. Not only that, do not feel sad about what Spirit Woman tell you. Do not feel sad about whatever situation you're going on dealing with your change. Okay, Virgo? So, now, with that basically being said, let's go ahead and pull one. I think we already done that. I'm going to pull one new. So, we're going to work on the awakening, okay? This is Uttarabhi Mudra. Uh, helps you with mental clarity, inspiration, awakening, truth. But we're going to say the awakening, 2-6, okay? I feel like the choices that you'll take, you'll be more uh, balanced in your harmony, and you got to also make sure you stay balanced intuitively. Now, this will benefit you in direct breath to the heart, chest, and ribs, assist the immune system, cultivate stability, inspiration, and insight, Virgo, okay? Now, interlace the fingers. Interlace the fingers of both hands and the tips of the thumbs touching and pointing downward. Extend the index finger upward, touching them together. Bring the hands close to the heart center. Lengthen the spine, relax the shoulders, okay? Now, this is what you focus on, Virgo. You focus on divine knowledge and inspiration. Awaken my highest truth. Divine knowledge and inspiration. Awaken my highest truth. And this is what helps you with your heart chakra, which is where your soul is basically placed. I like to call that the core center of your vessel, okay? So, Virgo, I hope that resonates for you. If you did, again, hit the like, comment, subscribe button. Leave a comment. Break it down. You know, I like to talk to you. I like to say something to you. Not only that, just stay encouraged and stay positive, okay? Now, make sure you wash away any burdens. Time to ground yourself. Stay calm in a storm because you do belong somewhere. Keep the courage up. Uh, don't be sad about what's going on. It's time for you to nourish the soul. Okay, Virgo, even though at the beginning, you see right now the storm is coming through, it's going to be a little rocky, And but you just got the blueprint of what's going on, okay? Now, with the Nine of Pentacles, again, basically being in reverse, don't feel like you have a lack of confidence. See the light and recover what's going on, but don't put people on a pedestal, okay? Once you start doing that and put the universe first and start changing your mindset and, and the change, everything will come out abundantly and positive. So, peace, love, and light light love and peace virgo i just want to say i love you god love you the universe definitely love you for real for real but make sure you love yourself that's the most important thing that i want that we have to do together as one in order to grow so with that said i love you peace love and light namaste yep